it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Eevee Legacy Challenge. Viola is heavily pregnant in her third trimester because I played a little bit off camera and she's now got a maternity look but as you can see she's here in the magic realm with her dad. I actually came here thinking they could do a little dueling and then realized obviously pregnant sims cannot do the duels because they can fall flat on their stomach so kind of like the bowling thing how they can't bowl. Um, yeah, so she is just experimenting instead, and it turns out there's a new untamed magic sage. The other one is gone, so now it's Naomi Kobayashi. So maybe we should meet her and try to get a new spell from her. Let's come and do a polite introduction. I don't know where her dad just ran off to, but hopefully we can have them do something together. <laughs> Some updates. As you can see here, we have a new pet. I decided to actually get Espeon's mate now, and you can oh, probably tell just from this little cool. tiny thing. He looks pretty <laughs> interesting. Um, I'll get into him in a second. Looks like our little dude over here is hot-headed, evil, and unflirty. <laughs> Horrible traits. Does the untamed magic person always have those traits? Actually, that polite introduction made them pretty close already, so maybe she will just give us something right off the bat. So let's ask for, ask for magical training. Let's try that, I don't know. Do you guys like her pregnancy outfit? I just figured she needed something a little comfier than the thing she, her normal everyday outfits. She's looking huge, so I'm wondering if it'll be more than one baby. Um, oh yay, it looks like she accepted and she's actually gonna teach her some stuff. Sweet. I really want her to get the, um, the spell where she can bring someone back to life because I want to bring back Beatrice as soon as possible. Oh my god, look at her stomach right now. <laughs> I wonder if we should bring back Lilith too, since she did technically die slightly as a result of knowing Viola. Not that it's Viola's fault, but I just need a picture because look how pretty this guy looks. Anyways, let me talk about Espeon's little mate. So as you can see, his name is Moonlight. Shout out to Jet Poke Trainer Hero for the name suggestion. I know you were suggesting this as a, um, I think a name for one of their babies, but when I saw it, I instantly just got this image in my head of a dog with like a moon, like a crescent moon marking on their head. So that's what I went ahead and made. Um, he's a Pomeranian, but he's the one that's like shaved to look like Boo the Pomeranian, that one famous Pomeranian. Um, and I just colored him black and he's got like this, he's got like yellow eyes and stuff. You'll see him when we get home, but yes, thank you for that name suggestion. It's super cute. Updates while she is just practicing this magic right now. Stefan, um, he has finished publishing his trilogy, his like personal trilogy of those spellcaster uh, vampire romance novels. And as for his career, he ended up getting this one little, I don't know if they get promoted technically in Freelancer, but he did get this one, it says level one, I don't know. But he got this one thing in the mail that said he was like a prolific freelancer or something like that. And he maxed out his writing, so that's really exciting. Oh, I thought she was done. She's just thinking about cake while she's in the middle of learning this spell. I wonder if we could ask Junior to train us or we can only, um, ask the sages. So the reason I played through a few days was because we didn't have much going on except for skill grinding yet again and I didn't want to make you guys sit in their house any longer. I realized we've been in their house like so long like we never leave their house. Well we do sometimes but rarely and that's probably because I rarely leave my own house. <laughs> any introverts do that with your sims you realize oh crap I've had my sim at her house for so long. Should probably get her out of the house or something. Um, yeah, and she's getting more serious about her spell casting since the whole Vlad incident. Um, even though she's pregnant and she can't do much, she can at least practice. Like, ooh, what is this? Oh, she's a spell caster adept? What, what is that? Is that like a new rank? Let me see this thing. Ooh, she's got some talent points. Yeah, she ranked up thanks to this lady. We are more than halfway through the whole spellcaster um, ranking system, at least. So she's an adept. She's got three power points. Mischief master. I like that. And tame the end. This one. Let's get this. And we'll get spectral reach. Yeah, I think we'll get the tame the untamable 
Mischief Master and the Spectral Reach. Cool. Well, once this little training session is done, she really needs to pee because she is heavily prego. So I will send her to pee. Thank you for that. Uh, what was your name again? Naomi. There's our dad. I wish we could like um, experiment together, but maybe I'll just make some chili in this thing because she is hungry. I guess I'll stay here a little longer. It's not that late and she's not overly tired or anything. Does this bring up their um, cooking skill? Oh, it actually does. That's funny. She's level six cooking now. Um, any other update? Her logic is level five. What else does she do? Oh, her um, her violin's level nine now. Oh, I meant to cheat her club so I could add um, the Vitors into her club. So let me just cheat this because this club is not like a real club. Like it doesn't really matter if we cheat. It's just a way for me to control her friends easier. <laughs> Let's give her like 4,000. The more members perks. There we go. Now the Vitors are part of our little crew. We're going to do a toddler play date today with some of her friends and relatives. Not really relatives. I guess they're all her friends. <laughs> But yeah, Liliana has a toddler. Valeria is still single, um, so she won't be involved in this. <laughs> but Mariah has a toddler, Mariah and Duke. And then um, Mariah's mom has a toddler. And also I went in and cheated for Stefan's sister and brother-in-law to have a baby because they kept getting that pop-up thing saying like, should we have a baby? And we kept telling him, try for a baby, like probably five times. And they just never did, so I was like, okay then. Um, the game is just for some reason having a problem with this alien hybrid and vampire having a baby together. So I just like cheated them a baby and created him. So they've got a little taller as well. Here is the Sage of Practical Magic. Why don't we come and ask him for something? So I guess if you do, wait, what? We can't ask him for anything? You know what we should do though? We should probably go and get her some cool stuff from the like the place where you can buy crap here <laughs> i don't think we've ever been there what about the sage of mischief can he give us anything oh you know what it's because i never met them i have to introduce myself yusuke nakagawa what's up buddy teach us some magic so he's lactose intolerant loves the outdoors perfectionist i think those are random the sage of um Untamed Magic just happens to have the worst possible traits. <laughs> okay. So if you ask them to train, they just train you. But I think if you ask to teach Mischief Magic, they'll teach you a spell like that one time. And I care more about the spells, I think, than the potions. I'll actually have to look at her um, spell book because I have to refresh my memory on the exact spells or potions we wanted. What is going on? Oh god. Is he actually teaching her spell? Yay, she got something! She got Burgulate. What? Alright, so she just got this spell. Acquire something that doesn't belong to you. Oh, she would never do that though. <laughs> so the Untamed Magic is what we want the most. That's what we have, I think, the most spells on. Necro Cult. No, we need D-Deathify. That's what we really want. I wonder if um, Naomi will teach us one more thing, even though she trained us already. Well, actually, let's go and meet the Sage of Practical Magic as well. All right, looks like he didn't like her. <laughs> That's okay though. We don't need you to like us, dude, just teach us something. We are going to ask to teach Practical Magic. We'll just grab one more spell. Hopefully if he says yes, and then we, oh, here is Naomi. So we're gonna go ask her for a spell. Hopefully it'll be D-Deathify. <laughs> as soon as I get that spell, I'm using it on Beatrice. What'd we get? We got Copy Pasto, which I'm assuming just clones items. Yes, cool. Thanks, dude. Maybe we could do that spell with the um, Plasma Fruit. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I think in the last episode I was like, oh, is this Plasma Fruit salad? Wait, she learned Repario? Too? I'm confused. 
How'd she learn? How'd she learn that? That's not even a untamed skill. I don't think. That's another practical skill. I don't know what happened, you guys. It glitched out, and she got two, um, two untamed spells. Let's try this again. I mean, two practical spells, but. Well, they just teach you unlimited spells like this, or. Oh, Stefan just got logic level four, and we got ah Necrocall. It is related to death, so that's a cool spell for her to have, but it's not the one I was hoping for. Now let me see if it'll let you just like do unlimited ones. I'm not gonna do that because that'll be a little cheaty. Okay, good. It doesn't. I guess the practical one just kind of spazzed out because she randomly was able to learn more than one. Um, really quick before. I have her head home because it's starting to get late. I want her to go, how do we go to that place to buy stuff? Do we actually have to go to the map? Caster's Alley, that's where I want to go. I'm going to cheat her bladder. Look, she's in a magic realm. Does it have to be that realistic? <laughs> it's going to take her 15 hours to waddle over there with her pregnant belly. Hopefully she doesn't go into labor while we're here, but I kind of want to get her like a wand or something maybe. Maybe we could get her more of these things right here. I think they're familiars, but honestly, I just like them as decor decorations in our house. We got sent this one from, I don't know, the random spellcasters send us stuff sometimes at our house. But what is, what is that? I want to get like a purple one like this. So glow frog, hex doll. I kind of like this one. I'm going to get it literally just as a decoration. Uh... Tome of Curse Cleansing. Oh, so if you read these tomes, you actually just learn the spells. What? Prompt Resurrection? Teaches the reader a potion that will revive them immediately if they die. Wait. So there's a potion to bring them back to life and a spell? Oh no. This is actually like you drink it and then in case you die, you'll come back to life. For example, we could give this potion to Stefan and then he could go out in the sun, die, and then immediately come back to life. <laughs> That's kind of a cool spell. I want to get her a wand, but I don't know what kind I would want. Like this one's okay. Do they change the um, stuff in here by the day? I don't know. Meh. Now I don't want to get her a wand, but I'm still getting her this familiar. Not even for the sake of having a familiar, but just because I want a decoration. <laughs> um let's buy brooms and crystals can you even do anything with the crystals or they're really just decoration eh i'm not feeling any of that stuff all right i'm gonna send her home now you guys so i got stefan his woodworking table oh here's moonlight we gotta look at moonlight but i just threw it down in the basement which i still have not renovated or anything because i'm just like whatever at this point <laughs> but what does he have to do for his aspiration he needs to craft an object just anything Let's just do a sculpture, I guess. Um, maybe he'll make a dragon sculpture for uh, his son. Oh, and then he can come repair this sink that randomly broke at some point to work on his handiness skill. Viola is obviously going straight to bed because she is dead tired. I'm sure she'll go into labor in the middle. Wait, what happened? What happened to you going to bed? Uh, did she just go into labor or something? It's happening. Um, no, she's not, but she's actually craving healthy food, which is funny because she usually craves sweet food with this pregnancy mod. But yeah, let's see this dragon that Stefan makes. But actually, before that, let's go look at Moonlight, who is cutely laying here for us to look at him. I know he's funny looking, but that's the point. <laughs> I think he looks so cool. I did my best drawing the moon. It's actually really hard using the, um... The paint tools in create a sim or create a pet but I think he looks pretty freaking cool look at him oh my god why does this moon kind of move like eyebrows isn't he funny looking <laughs> I can't wait to look at the babies these guys end up producing but I think he just looks cool um oh so today that the day I'm recording this is the day that the werewolf pack was actually um officially announced i'm really excited for it and i think i'm gonna have um our heir actually end up marrying a werewolf then we can have like werewolf vampire hybrid babies i don't know if that's gonna be an official thing 
Um, so far, hybrids aren't really a thing, except for the alien-human hybrids, where it's, like, pretty much a human, but they're green. <laughs> Just like um, Jordan, his brother-in-law. Let's go ahead and look at his nephew that I made and created him. Like I said, it seemed like the game was struggling to get these guys to have a baby because they kept asking, should we have a baby? Should we have a baby? And they just wouldn't actually have one. So I went in to create a sim and made him using the genetics tool. He's, um, I think he's technically a human um, alien hybrid because he's not a vampire. So yeah, he's green though. And he looks cute. We'll see him tomorrow for the... Um, toddler play date I'm gonna do I'm gonna have them leave the house um, because like I said I feel like we spend too much time in this house but it's so big and nice I never want to leave it <laughs> but yeah we will have a play date somewhere we'll probably go to like one of those um, lots that are made for kids that has like all the kid activities and stuff inside it has to be indoors because there's too many vampires in this family I don't need anyone dying speaking of vampires let's check out What's going on with Stefan? Oh, did he actually rank up? I didn't realize that he ranked up to a minor vampire. Um, and he's got three power points. Why don't we grab him some stuff? So I realized um, it's not like the spellcasters where these are connected. You don't have to get them in order, like going up like this. You can get them in any order. <laughs> like, even though I have this, even though I don't have this one, I can get this one. You know what I mean? I think I want to get either Vampiric Strength or Command. No, I want to get Command. Do we have to take a weakness? We finally have to take a weakness, you guys. Definitely not the hissing one. Um, I was saying Guilty Drinker would be good. Definitely not Thin Skinned. Not Sloppy Drinker. Um, Withered Stomach wouldn't be bad because I never have a meat anyways. But I think we'll do Guilty Drinker because he's never going to try to drink from anyone without permission anyway, so. Yes, okay. Ah, Viola's in labor. Stefan, no more mopping. We're going to the hospital. How is um, Salem? He's fine. He's just sad because he peed on himself, I guess. <laughs> Girl, your first reaction when you go into labor is to go um, watch TV. Okay, so we are obviously going to the hospital. All right, here we go. We're going straight in. I don't really have problems with <laughs> Stefan. I don't really have problems with the um, the hospital with having a baby anymore. Like I feel like they used to just stand around for a while. Nowadays they come right in and give birth, which I like. Fly in here as a bat. Be dramatic about it, even though it's two feet away. Fly here as a bat, Stefan. Oh no, he hurt himself from woodworking. <laughs> Let's see. Do we think it's going to be a spellcaster? Do we think it's going to be a vampire? Do we think it's going to be one baby, twins, triplets? Who knows? I don't know. Stefan, don't miss the birth, I swear to God. Okay, good. He came in right on time. It's a girl! Oh my God. So if this baby is a vampire, it could end up being our heir. Um, if it's a spellcaster, it won't be. We could always turn her. If we end up having like five kids and none of them are vampire females, then I'll probably have Stefan turn. Um, one of the daughters but yeah we have a girl let me check my little name list i have going i do like the name raven raven drew it let's do that oh my god twin girls you guys oh wait raven as a bird is there any other dark birds that aren't weird as names we can't name her crow like <laughs> like maybe a boy could be named crow like maybe all right there are actually a lot of female bird names but none of them are like black birds or dark birds um so i decided screw that we're not going with a bird name um but we can do luna which is actually the name of my sister's dog but <laughs> it's okay it's related to the moon um Kind of fits the theme so raven and luna let's see just twins okay here they are oh my god <gasps> so this is luna and she's definitely a vampire so she could possibly be the heir we don't yet know if raven is um, a spellcaster or a vampire but at least we know for sure we have an heir um and we won't have to use any cheats because we've had a female vampire naturally. Yay! All right, so the babies are screaming their heads off 
and looks like Salem is upset to have a new sibling. <laughs> I wanted to have him come in here to see his um, reaction and it looks like he's not too happy to no longer be the only child. Look at his grumpy little face. He's pissed. <laughs> Um, and I noticed that uh, Raven is in a regular bassinet, so I don't know if that means she's a human. Um, I didn't think that was possible with the way I have my settings. I thought it was either going to be Spellcaster or Vampire. But, I mean, I don't necessarily know that just because she's in this means she's not going to be a Spellcaster. I guess we'll have to wait until she ages up to find out. But, um, Viola was born a human, right? And then her dad turned her into a spellcaster or something. I don't remember. But she is at least half human. So it makes a little bit of sense that she could have a human child. It's just surprising to me. I didn't think. Um, I just didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> Let's have Stefan try to cheer up Salem a little bit. We're going to calm him down. I put them in Stefan's office, by the way, because I don't want them waking Salem up throughout the night all the time, which is what ends up happening if you put the babies in with the toddlers, but I also just don't feel like renovating a room for them. <laughs> and you know, they're babies for like three days. I'm like, meh. He's the one doing most of the home care like during the day, so it doesn't really hurt to have them in his office where he'll be working on his writing most of the time anyway. Stefan trying his best to make Salem not feel <laughs> left out or anything. Let's have Salem come and talk to his sisters. So he's gonna come and talk to Raven first. All right, here he comes to talk to his sisters. I guess he's talking from behind them, waking them up. <laughs> Look, he's not mad anymore about them. The moolah disappeared. Maybe he got over it. Maybe at first he was a little pissed, but then now he's looking at him he's like you know what maybe it's not so bad having little sisters Aww. wait let me take a picture of this oh look at his little smile he's so cute here is the dragon sculpture that stefan made i think i'm just gonna put his sculptures on here maybe we'll have him make a couple more cool little things <laughs> stefan is doing perfectly fine vampire energy wise um, so he's just gonna work on his aspiration a bit. He has to raise his logic skill two more levels and then he'll be on the next level of his aspiration. He's got quite a few satisfaction points. Should we get him something? Night Owl? And I think I'll just save up for Savant. I probably should have saved for that anyway, but it's okay. How's Viola's satisfaction points? Ooh, she has a lot too. I'm still trying to save up for Brave though. Why does it cost so much for Brave? Wait, why does it say they don't mind being near supernatural beings such as ghosts or skeletons? Are there skeletons in the game? How have I not seen this yet? <laughs> um, okay then. What if Viola finished her secret agent career early and then we had her become a one of those ghost hunters? Isn't, isn't that like a job in this? with that one pack. <laughs> I haven't played really much with that, um, with that pack. Viola's gonna take some family leave today. Um, as much as I want her to go and get promoted, I think they can sometimes get promoted even if they take family leave, because look how high her performance is. But yeah, I just really want her to have this little play date with her friend's kids before they all age up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take that family leave have her come make some food. Ooh, we gotta take a portrait of Espeon. Gotta remember to do that. I was just taking pictures of um, the babies. I'm trying to have a picture of all of the kids this generation for like every age they're at. <laughs> Stefan is so close to level five logic. Okay, the baby's crying, but let's just get him there before we <laughs> have him stop playing chess. Yay, good job, dude. Hi, Moonlight. I feel like I haven't shown him much just because we weren't home when I first started up the game. Apparently he's obsessed with the oven, but his traits are friendly, independent, and smart. I made him in creative sim, so he's like a perfect dog. <laughs> Super easy and chill. Um, uh, Espion needs a bath. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I meant to say, oh, thanks, Maria. I meant to say that the plasma fruit salad is actually not a mod or anything that comes with the game. <laughs> It just has to do with bringing up your vampire lore skill, I guess. What the? 
Adrastia has spread some juicy gossip about Viola. What the heck is wrong with his sister? She's such a hater. <laughs> um, I wonder what she spread about her. Hey, did you know your wife was kidnapped when she was a toddler? Jordan Charm and Adrastia Charm can't seem to connect. Oh my god. Blood, space, fear of garlic, telepathy. Some common ground has to be found if they're gonna work things out. Yeah, maybe he's realizing she's evil. Poor Jordan. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are here at the toddler play date in Magnolia Promenade. Um, Mariah's kid actually aged up, so um, he couldn't come, but that's okay. So we have a whole bunch of toddlers here. This one is Kaden Akiyama, and it looks like his um, dad came Emiliano. That is uh, Liliana's husband. So I guess she didn't end up coming, which I'm glad because she would be burning in the sun, so it's fine. <laughs> and then here we have Elena, who is um, Liliana and um, Valeria's younger sister, and their parents ended up having yet another baby. So here's Marisol. She is the younger of these two. They both ended up with their mom's eyes, which to be honest, look kind of creepy on toddlers but I still think they're cute. <laughs> Here's Laurent, our um, nephew right here, Adrastia and Jordan's baby. And then, and this little girl is um, Mariah's youngest sister, Marie Rains, uh, since her mom decided to go off and have late, um, late age pregnancies. <laughs> I just came to this toddler play place. I think I've been to this, I've definitely been to this lot in my, um, let's plays before I really like this place but I did add some extra toddler or like CC stuff in here like a trampoline and stuff two seconds in and Salem has already crapped his pants and there's toddlers crying <laughs> so we can meet Emiliano I know he's old I, I think I forgot to mention um oh yeah Jordan came but I think I forgot to mention that Liliana's husband ended up being an elder because she likes them old. Oh, here's Mariah, and she's old now. Looks like all the non-vampires came, which is good. Um, but Mariah is still kicking. Her husband, her second husband, has now passed away. She's been widowed twice, but at least she's finally an elder and will no longer be reproducing. <laughs> I want to see if Salem can, like, meet. I wish the toddlers could meet each other. Let's come and talk to Marie. Talk to a stranger. At least he can do that. Sometimes you can't even do that. Hey, it's Junior. What's up, dude? You crashing our party? Sure. Looks like both her parents are crashing the party. <laughs> nice. It worked out though because all of the non-vampire parents are the ones who ended up coming. You know how when you do the official toddler play dates, it'll just have one of the parents come? Well, that works out. I guess these guys can join the group. <laughs> Let's have them just go inside. Where are you, Salem? He's over here talking to Kaden, he's got a stank diaper. We're gonna say nonsense to uh, Marie, what the heck? He's talking about crapping his diaper to them. Good conversation at topic, Salem. Well, to be honest, he's never really interacted with other toddlers, so maybe he doesn't know how to act in social situations yet. <laughs> Why are all the toddlers upset? Okay, well, he's looks like he's making some little relationship gains with them. Let's try to find the other toddlers. He's gonna come and meet Marisol. I think she's about his age. You guys know I love getting my Sims kids together with their friends' kids, so <laughs> gonna have him meet Elena and Marisol. Also, he needs to meet his cousin, Laurent. Actually, I think he did meet him, so that's good. Yeah, they can even hug lovingly. Nice. Salem is so independent. He's just walking around doing his own thing. He is actually clingy. He's the opposite of independent, but still. Just in case these guys end up together, let me take a cute little picture of them with their glowing eyes once they start actually talking. Oh, she's smiling at him. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, and here comes her sister, bigger sister. Must only be like a couple days apart. They're having some kind of intense combo. <laughs> Talking about, what was that, an orange? Looks like Marie's feeling left out, so she's coming to join the convo. Did he end up meeting all the toddlers? I think so, yeah. This dude, Emiliano, is also a spellcaster, so maybe um, Viola can do a magic duel. Duel for knowledge? Let's do that. 
I don't think I've successfully done a duel. What's she doing? She's in here dancing. <laughs> Girl. Aww, so well. He's dancing. He's actually super tired. Maybe he can take a nap like right on here. Dueling on the sidewalk. Guess spellcasters aren't really like a secret around here. <laughs> Wait, can they die if this runs out? Okay, no, she's fine. Who do you think's gonna win? I think Viola will because... Oh wow. She beat him super fast. Take it easy on this old man, Viola. <laughs> she's gotten so strong. Okay, and he taught her... Uh, Flor- I thought she already had that spell. Flora L'Oreal? Maybe she didn't. Maybe that was new. Oh yeah, she didn't have that. Well, that'll be helpful because they actually have a garden. Okay, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this part up here because our little boy is obviously real tired, real stank, and wants to go home. <laughs> At least he got to meet some little friends. That's good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope we'll see you next time. Bye!